Stay all day. Stay all day. Stay all day. Stay The overseas basketball blueprints. Today's topic is creating connections for playing basketball overseas. Players often are asking me about this. Usually when players ask me about overseas, they're not asking me, hey, how can I get better? Or how can I develop my skill? They're usually saying, hey, how can I get a connection? How can I get an agent? Or you know, how do I find somebody who, is, who knows people or who's connected in the world who can help me get on playing professional basketball overseas? Well, the first thing that if you aren't asking that question but you aren't playing overseas yet, understand that the connections do matter. Now, while sports is a meritocracy more than in the business world, specifically you can play your way and perform your way into opportunity much better in the sports world than you can in the business world the business world you get politics and people's opinions and everything can be very subjective in the sports world we got a scoreboard up there on the wall in every game so even if people hate you if you got the most points at the end of the game you still win whereas in the business world people hate you even if you're the best at least by your opinion you can still end up losing so in sports you can perform your way to the top but even when you feel like, let's say you feel like you are performing, you feel like you do have the skills, but nobody quite knows you yet, you do want to make sure you start making those connections. So I'm going to give you a few ways you can start making connections to get yourself your opportunity. Because as I think I heard Hubie Brown, who's a former NBA coach, he's like an analyst now, heard him say this once. He said, in life, it is not about if you can shoot, it's about can you get your shot. Now I gave him Hubie credit, so now I'm using that quote now. It's not if you can shoot, it's can you get your shot. So as many ball players who are watching this right now, listening to me right now, who you know you can play, you know you have game, you know you, you believe that if you got your opportunity, you can compete against a professional level player. The challenge is you haven't gotten your opportunity to do so yet. What I want you to understand is that this is part of your job. Getting your opportunity to show your game is just as important as having game. So let's get into this. What are some ways that you can start making connections to play overseas? Number one thing you can do is go to places where the connected individuals are at and play and then show you can play. Simple as that. The most basic way, not most basic, but the most well-known way of doing this is what we call an exposure camp. Y'all know what exposure camps are. You put your money up, you go to this event, a bunch of other players put their money up, all of you show up there, all of you play. It's basically a job fair for basketball players. And the people who show up to watch are not just regular fans with Instagram accounts. They are decision makers in the pro basketball world. Coaches, scouts, managers, owners, agents. These are connected people. These are people who are either with the teams that can sign you or they have connections to the teams that can sign you. If you do your thing on that court, they can help you get a contract, maybe sign you to represent you, market and promote you out into the world, defend and advocate for you, help you get a job playing professional basketball. Then once you get on that court, you still got to do your thing. If the agent gets you a deal and then you go over there and you don't look good, it's not your agent's fault. You still got to get out there and perform. So number one way is you got to go to where these people are. Now, going to where they are doesn't have to be going to an exposure camp. Listen, if there's an agent on Twitter or uh, Facebook or Instagram who has an account and you see that they're an agent and you believe you're good enough to play and they can maybe get you a job, you can reach out directly to that agent. But let me give you a word of warning. Not even a word of warning. Let me give you a disclaimer. This is a better way to put it. And this is in my book, Basketball Agents Decoded. So if you didn't know about that book, that's because I didn't put it out yet as of this recording. But it's going to be part of the Basketball Blueprint Bundle, which you're going to find out very soon. But anyway, find out about very soon. When you reach out to an agent, you need to have some collateral. you got to have something to offer that agent. So it's like if you wanted to get hired for a job, you wouldn't just show up to the job interview with no, no resume, no background. You haven't done anything. You have no proof that you can do this specific job except saying, hey, if somebody taught me and I could be really good at it. Now, maybe if you're trying to get an entry level job at like McDonald's or Walgreens, maybe that'll work. But if you're trying to play professional basketball, even the entry level job in pro basketball, you got to have some game, right? Because there's a lot of players out here. Make sure you got some collateral, meaning have some game footage that shows that you can actually play. Has some footage that shows you playing in a reputable game, college, pro, uh, professional, or exposure camp. Those are the best leagues you can play in. College, professional, exposure. Professional means there's money on the line. College, I know what college is. And exposure camp, you know what exposure camp is. So a pro-am league, like some summer league that you play in in your hometown, maybe it could be good, maybe not. But if ain't nobody really playing defense, everybody's standing around while two people go one-on-one, -on -one, one guy on defense, one guy on offense, Overseas teams don't really want to see that because the game is nothing like that over there. So if that's the way your pro-am league goes and all the pro-am leagues that I've seen, at least when I see the highlights, that's all it is. People just basically taking turns going one-on-one. -on -one. 
that is not going to appeal to an overseas team. So go to an exposure camp, get your college game footage, and get your professional game footage. Those are the things you need to show to an agent or any decision maker, a manager, a scout, a coach, an owner, who can actually help you get connected in the overseas basketball world. Another way to make connections in the overseas world is make sure you're linking up with players. Connect with other players who are either at the same level that you're at, players who may be doing a little bit better than you right now, maybe players who have deals, you don't have a deal yet, because those players can at least give you some game as to how things go on the court, how things go off the court, maybe what league, what leagues are like, the leagues that they've played in to this point, maybe any other players that they know, maybe if you're cool enough with them and you got enough game, Maybe they can connect you to their agent or at least put you on the phone with the agent and the agent can let you know what they can do and what they can't do. Do not expect any handouts. I'm gonna make sure I'm being clear with that too. Because once you get on overseas, the last thing you want is to have 10 dudes that you know that you play ball with in some pickup game coming up to you like, yo, hook me up with your agent or yo, can you get me on this team and this league and this and that? And you know you really can't do that. So make sure you're not doing that to anybody else. I, I said connect with them. Connect with them, offer them something. I don't know what it is you can offer them, be creative. Offer them something that makes your presence worthwhile in their life and they can give you some information like let you know what's going on, what leagues are like, maybe what the money is like, what the opportunity is like, whether they would do this again or do that again, how they got started. What did they do to connect with their agent or their manager or the team that they play for? Connect with other players. That's another way that you can get your name out there. Now, the other way, the wild card way, is just having your content on the internet. If you have a website or a profile or you're on LinkedIn posting your highlight video on some group or you got a YouTube highlight video, I've seen, I mean, every player does this these days, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. There's a 99% chance of just posting your video on the internet. You're not gonna get discovered randomly by some person who just came across your video out of the billions of videos that are on the internet. So don't think, don't look at that as a strategy. It's something that you can have. Just in case somebody asks you for video, you can send them the link. But don't think that just because you put it up there that all of a sudden somebody's gonna find you like, you know, like Cinderella, Snow White story or something like that. This ain't no fairy tale. So you're gonna have to do some legwork to get yourself out there. So when it comes to people who are connected, first of all, you gotta understand who are the people who are connected. And in my book, Basketball Agents Decoded, I'm gonna tell you about who the connected people are, how to connect with those people, what they can do for you, what they can't do for you, and how you can present yourself as somebody that should be worthy of their time because that's what you need to sell in order to get them to help you out. So if you don't yet, have a copy of this book, The Overseas Basketball Blueprint, 237 pages, everything you need to get started in professional basketball or to further your career in pro basketball. There are a bunch of players playing overseas right now who have this book on their bookshelves. I'm telling you, everybody knows, male and female players. So if you don't have your free copy of the book yet, yes, you heard me, free copy. All you do is cover the shipping. Go to balloverseas.com. Balloverseas.com. You get this 237-page book shipped to you. Doesn't matter where you live. We ship the book worldwide. We got airplanes out here. Again, balloverseas.com is that link. Get your free copy of the Overseas Basketball Blueprint. All you do is cover the shipping. Everybody, work on your game. Dre, all day.